What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I encountered a PBN that had been hit with a spam penalty and this was one I had bought from someone on legit. Uh, this happens, it's not like they did it maliciously or anything like that. It just occurs from time to time. So today I wanted to show you the process that I go through to basically reverse that spam penalty and allow the site to be used once again because it has some good metrics. For privacy reasons, I'm obviously going to be keeping the domain private and all that sort of stuff because this is for a client's site. However, I wanted to show you how to do this process so that way when you are ranking your affiliate site or ranking your client site or ranking whatever type of site you have, you can take this information and apply it to your own sites and hopefully be able to reverse spam penalties if that were to happen to them. So we're over here at Google and this is where you can very quickly check the status of your site's pages and see if they've been crawled by Google's bots and been indexed into the search engines. So basically to do this if you've never done it before, you basically you type in site and then colon and then the domain right into Google or right into the address bar and then this will show up right here. Obviously it is blanked out for privacy's sake because again this is for a client's site. However, what would normally be shown here is the home page, the terms of service page, privacy policy, those types of pages, along with any of the other pages that have been added to this site. And these were all posted a week and a half ago and they're still not indexed, which is pretty uncharacteristic for Google. Sometimes it takes a couple weeks, but if it's still showing that there is nothing after over a week, you definitely want to look into this. So what you want to do is click google.com slash webmasters where the search console is right here. It's very convenient that it's right there. And what you're going to want to do is sign up with a different Gmail account. Since I jumped the gun and went ahead and did this stuff already, what you're going to want to do, and this is the fastest way to basically get the site verified, is when you click webmasters and you log in, it's going to ask you to verify that you own the site. So what you're going to want to do is grab the HTML code. This is the fastest way, in my opinion, to do it because there are other ways such as like the tag manager and all these uploads and it's just a pain. Go over to the next tab and, and grab the HTML code that says meta name Google site verification. Copy that, then go to the back end of your WordPress site, go to appearance, and then you're gonna scroll down to editor. And then you're gonna go over to editor, and then from editor, you're gonna go down to theme header. You're gonna to have to paste this into the header of the website. And basically what you'll wanna do is go to find and then just type in head with the appropriate bracket and, and then it'll find the end of the header. So what you're gonna do is basically the line right above it. Paste that code in there, click update, and then you will want to click verify on the search console. And then you'll land here at the search console and it will show that it has been verified. So then immediately what you're going to wanna do is go down here to search traffic. You can check out basically the analytics and links to your site internal actions. What you're gonna to wanna to see is manual actions. And with this, it'll tell you if there have been manual actions placed on this domain. And for this one, it appears that it's been slapped with a penalty for peer spam. And so what happened here was that they saw that all this nonsense was going on here. And again, yes, we want to rank our sites. Yes, we want to be using effective techniques that will rank sites as fast as possible. However, you do not want to be blasting spam and just garbage. Google wants to see good quality content on relevant sites and that's what's going to actually reward your site in the search engines in order to get it to show up for the terms that you want to show up for. And so what actually had happened was that there was a team that had actually looked at this site. It was not just the bots, it was a person. They marked this domain with a pure spam manual action and the site's not indexing. So that's obviously not a good thing that we want to have happen. So if you've been using a site and it got hit with a manual action, then you will definitely need to request a review and you will have to actually change the content on the site. Being as I just took ownership of this site and I did add the good content, good quality article and the specific needed pages to the site and whatnot, it does not look like a spam site by any means anymore. So that's exactly what I'm going to tell them when I request a review right here. So basically I just said, hey, I just purchased this domain for my blog, notice a spam penalty. I should probably not put penalty, spam manual action that had been placed on it. I'm not sure what the site looked like before I took ownership. However, I have created content on the website that I believe is not spam in any way. Is it possible to reverse the manual action? And there we go. And the worst thing that they can say is no. So then you will want to basically click to send that to them. And then if we determine your site is no longer in violation of our guidelines, we'll remove the manual action. This process may take some time. 
So that's what I have for you today. Hopefully this will help you with reversing any type of manual action on your site. It's actually very, very, very simple. But again, when it comes to getting sites ranked and doing SEO and PBNs and all that type of stuff, you don't wanna be just blasting spam onto your sites because at this point in time, that just does not work anymore. Eight years ago, it would have worked wonders, but Google's algorithm has changed multiple times over the course of that time period. Definitely at this point in time, relevant content on relevant sites is what matters really the most in terms of rewarding your site for ranking. So anyways, if you like this type of content and you like to learn about SEO and doing affiliate marketing with pay-per-call campaigns, building digital marketing agency, and a whole lot more, be sure to go down below, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and also click the bell for notifications so that way you know when the newest content is here on the channel. So with that being said, my name is Matt Wasik. Thank you for checking out my channel and I will see you in the next one.